What's up, this is your brother David here, and today this is a special one. Today we are going to answer the, your question if whether you should buy an Xbox One X or an Xbox One S. So, you all know that Microsoft just released their new flagship console, the Xbox One X, back in November 7 that can actually play 4K 60fps with a piece of tape so today I have here a oops Xbox One S here so when you buy an Xbox One S you can, you can buy at Walmart, Newegg, uh, Best Buy and Costco, yeah Costco at 249 with just the console and the wireless controller but if you want to have a bundle you can buy it for $279 with uh, two free games mostly Destiny 2 or NFL yeah or FIFA plus other combos so uh, this is uh, so we got here is the 500 gig model that's why it's 279 but the one terabyte one is about 270 because you have more storage than 500 gigs so we all know that Xbox One S can play 4K as well, but only at 30 frames. So at first, let's look at the controller. So the controller, yeah, has the. There, let's focus that. Has the um, controls there. The left num left stick, right stick, then the numpad plus the settings and the uh, Xbox logo and it lights up if you hold it to activate your Xbox console but the console is not what you call that plugged in right now so it's, it keeps blinking because it's searching for the console we got the right trigger and the left trigger the left button and right button plus the the battery inside which which by the way needs double A batteries guys, double A batteries don't buy single A's or triple A's you also can uh, use, there's also a port here that you can use to place on a dock which we currently don't have and a cheap, cheap and 5mm headphone jack so you can plug the Xbox headset that they that you can buy in the Microsoft store so let's put it aside there now we have the Xbox One S itself. So the Xbox One S was uh, initially initially released back in August or October, I think, of 2016, and already Microsoft has already released a newer version that has eight that has eight teraflops and an octa-core CPU. The heck. So. This is still new because it's only it's only two years since it has passed. Uh, what would I prefer on One X or One S? If I were to pick by horsepower, I'm gonna pick the One X obviously because 4K 60. Who doesn't want that? But if I was going to play it in a 1080p monitor or 1080p TV, I can play it at 60 FPS. Or depending on the game, some of the games here uh, only plays at 1080p30, which sucks by the way. So let's move on to the um, I.O. We have the power button here on the left. We have a USB on, I mean, the power button is on the right. And the USB on the left, plus you have a DVD uh, uh, reader or a DVD drive that you install, uh, that you put the disk in when you buy games at uh, Walmart, Costco, and Best Buy, yeah. Then next we have the uh, hook, okay, okay, okay. The intake or the exhaust, yeah, I think this is the intake. Or, oh yeah, this is the exhaust, this is the intake. Yeah. There's, we have an exhaust here at the front. Intake on the back and the I.O. as well plus I think this is also an intake in the left side 
on the right side you also have another uh, intake or as we call the vent ventilation holes so that's that so this will not overheat unless you put something on top of it like a paper or a for example a tissue like this one it will suffocate and overheat and I think that Xbox has a Microsoft has a built-in thermal radiator inside so when it gets hot it, it will automatically shut down or warn you first so yeah in the back we have a uh, the what do you call it the port for the power yeah the power port so you can power the Xbox to HDM to HDMI in the in and out like in out burgers joking we have the USB here I think this is USB 3 uh, IR out means I think infrared maybe the LAN port the S slash PDIF port so I don't know that so you can just go in the comments below if you know what that does we have a safety uh, lock here so you can uh, keep your xbox in place when someone's uh, i don't know gonna steal it from you so yeah uh, back to the question would the xbox one s be enough for my taste Yes, because I've been playing uh, in our in my Godfather's 55-inch 1080p TV that is uh, Sharp, the Sharp brand TV from Sharp. Yeah, it hasn't been any lag. It hasn't lagged in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen it lag. Plus, the controllers here have a long time before they die. Uh, my Godfather told me it was like a half, one and a half year because. He doesn't use rechargeable batteries, he uses only device lithium batteries from uh, uh, at the mall, yeah, at Walmart, yeah. So, in conclusion, would I recommend the Xbox One X over the Xbox One X? If you're going for a, ch uh, a cheaper way and a uh, good way, then Xbox One X, I would totally recommend this to you, the Xbox One X because it's only under $300. So how much is $300 in the Philippines? Let's check. So it's 15,000 pesos in the Philippines. This is cheaper than a PS4 Slim. Eh, you can choose whatever you want. Anyways, so, but if you have the money, like 500 bucks, 500 to 700 bucks, you can buy the Xbox One X because uh, the future proofing is more extended to about three years, I think. Yeah, because I think on 2020, uh, 4K 60 will, will be our baseline resolution for everything from TVs. PCs, phones, and laptops, and other stuff. So yeah, again, this is Davey. That's it all for the for the review of the Xbox One S. I really enjoyed it because I played NBA 2K18, Destiny 2, and NFL in this big bad boy here. If I could just have one on my own, it would be awesome. So yeah, again, this is David, and this is the end of the review. Uh, if I were to say rate the xbox one is from 0 to 10 i would rate it by 8.5 to 9 so yeah see you guys peace